come back, a UFC legend, Tito Ortiz, in trouble now. Uh, there is a le an allegation that he attacked a woman in a nightclub. Welcome back to TMZ Live. Police in Las Vegas now looking into an incident involving Tito Ortiz, the UFC, former UFC fighter, uh, who was in Dre's, apparently, when got, he got into... Dre's nightclub. Dre's nightclub, when he got into a, a, a scrap with a woman, she says. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, they're not looking into it. They actually cited Tito for this. Tito was cited around 1 o'clock this morning. He was in Dre's nightclub. Uh, apparently, the woman called police and said that Tito got physical with her, tried to grab her phone and whipped her around and stuff like that because uh, he thought that she was taking a picture of him and he kind of overreacted. Um, she claims she was not taking a picture of Tito, that she was just taking pictures inside the club. Either way, it doesn't really matter if she was or she wasn't. If she so what did he specifically do to her? Um, she claims that he whipped her around, like grabbed her and like, you know, put laid his hands on her uh, and ripped her phone away. And she claims that she was in fear for her life because uh, you have this UFC, you know, this, this MMA He's fighter. He's a big guy. Who's, yeah, who's manhandling you. So uh, it doesn't sound like she was injured, but it sounds like she was scared and she has since lawyered up. Looks like she uh, will probably be going after him. Well, I mean... <laughs> Okay, look. Um, so, so the cops came, be. and they. You said haven't they cited him? So he they, was cited for they misdemeanor cited him for? battery. Oh, so he, so this is a crim they actually did a criminal thing. Yeah, he was. I mean, he wasn't arrested and taken to jail, but he was given a, a misdemeanor battery citation. Which, uh, you know, I guess if they cite him for that, that's kind of an acknowledgement that you did something wrong. Well. It could it's be still, when, when you sign. This could be. There's right. a thing like when you get a traffic ticket, you have to sign. Basically, it's 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 a formality that you sign to waive so that they they can let you go without bail. So I don't think he's admitting anything. I think he you get right. this so that you don't go to jail. Sure, but um, I mean, look, at the end of the day, not good. No, and didn't no. He, didn't he have big issues with Jenna Jameson when he was married to her? Oh yeah, they hate each other's guts. Yeah, but they had this whole drama back and forth with craziness and police and everything else, right? There was, but I'm, I can't recall any allegations or any convictions, rather. Of him. I don't think there were convictions, yeah, but there right. were accusations of sure. violence. But like you said, that was a crazy relationship. Hello, my name is Daryl Horn, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. And I just think it's completely wrong that he overreacted the way he did. I mean, you're in Drea's nightclub. Like, hella celebrities go there in the first place. And she probably wasn't even taking a picture of him. And for him to, like, overreact and, like, put his hands on her was kind of just going way too far. This, this sounds just like the Blake Griffin incident in Vegas uh, last year, remember, where he uh, allegedly oh, yeah. slapped around that guy who oh, was taking a picture? Right. Wow, I never thought of that. I forgot about that with Blake. So if he follows the Blake Griffin path, he'll be punching a dude in the face <laughs> in Toronto in no time. Really? I just, I good, wow. for a beer or something. Right. Uh, we are going to move on to.